Hey you guys, I'm Roxanne Speed with Enjoying Life Supernaturally. Welcome to everybody that's new. If you haven't subscribed and this blesses you, please do so. For y'all that have been around me for a little while, thank you for allowing me to speak into your life today. Please hit the like button if you do. A little validation goes a long way. It's awesome when we get the likes, we know kind of where we're headed. It confirms to us even more so that we're here in the Lord. We know we are, it just helps. All right, you guys, I wanna give you a word today. I wanna to give you an instruction. I wanna give you a setup, a direction. I've been sitting with the Lord for a couple days on this one, actually a couple months, and he is so serious. He is so determined to speak to you guys, to set you on course, to set you up. I've been seeing Esther 414 or just 414 for like a year and a half, and I don't know what it was. Lord, what are you saying? What are you saying? So I went and I looked, and I knew the scripture where he says, um, Esther said, you know, to her cousin Mordecai, and her cousin Mordecai was telling her, hey, Esther was like, no, I can't do this thing I'm trying to do. And Mordecai said, what if you came into the kingdom for such a time as this? But if you don't speak, if you don't step up and do what you got to do, the Lord says that deliverance, you know, deliverance for your people, deliverance for the church, deliverance for your kind will come, but it won't come through you. And guys, we don't want to miss our moment. This isn't a word to scare anyone. This isn't a word for you to go, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. No, the Lord says that I have positioned you and placed you in the kingdom for a time such as this, whether you're a businessman, whether you're a mom, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a minister, whether you preach, no matter what you did, this is a word for you. The Lord says that have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous like I did Gideon, like I did David, like I did Joseph, just step I've been giving you glimpses of what's going to come. I've been showing you. I have stripped you of every prop. I have stripped you of, depending on your physical appearance, depending on your materialism. You were not losing to lose in vain. The Lord says, no, you lost everything because I set you up for all the new things you're going to gain in me that will not fall because I've shaken everything that can be shaken and what remains will stay. The Lord says that you have to see that you are in position. You don't have to get in position. The Lord says you're in position, but you have to step up. The Lord says that my grace is sufficient for you and your weakness. I am made strong through you. You feel weak. You feel burnt. You feel drained. You feel like you can't do this. Lord, I can't do this right now. I don't want to do this. Father, take it. Let me wait. I'm scared. I'm scared I'm going to fall. I tried this and it wasn't successful. The Lord says if you would but get back up, step in to it because guys, the second we step into the assignment God has for us, that's when grace, enablement, power, ability, favor, blessing is going to step in and do for you with ease what you couldn't do for yourself. You're going to feel a supernatural energy. You're going to feel a supernatural ability to make it happen because it says the Lord, the Lord says that it is I who am working in you to will and to work my good pleasure. This is a season of the favor of the Lord. This is the year of the Lord. He says, did I not tell you in my word that write the vision down, walk it, learn it, prepare, though it tarry, though you've been waiting for seasons, for decades, for years or months. He said, I said I would deliver. Though it tarry, wait for it. It will not deceive or disappoint. The Lord says, I'm not going to deceive you or disappoint you. I'm not a man that I shall lie. If I said it, then that settles it. If I said it, I'm going to do it. The father says, I'm a friend that sticks closer than a brother. I will not let you fail. You didn't fail in the past. You were preparing. You were walking in a taste of what was to come. I let you see and feel what it would be. And now I'm telling you, it's time. It's time to step in to the very reason you were born. It's time to step in to the very reason I created you and put you on the earth when I did for a time such as now. You are the one. You are my chosen. You are the one that I've equipped and set into place. You're going to do what people won't do. You're going to do one more. You have the qualifications. You have the endurance. You have the resilience because I've tested you through fire. I've tested you through tribulation and you are coming out. You come out like diamonds. And now I can use you to speak to nations. I can use you to command winds and waves in my name. I can use you to do signs, wonders, and miracles on the earth so that my glory can show, that my power can come forth in this season to return the reverence of God, to return the fear of the Lord because I love my people and I'm tired. I'm tired of allowing the enemy to come and snatch from you. Now he's going to return everything he took from you and he's going to give you 
you pay back and you're going to see it manifest. It's going to manifest in your own life right now now. The Lord says, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, because you're about to see a double portion. You're about to see me on the move to do things that you have not seen before. You're going to say, wow, Lord, where did I get this power? Where did I get this anointing, this strength? The Father says, move on my directive today, and you will stand strong and shine above the rest because I've called you. I've made you. I've equipped you to do it. Now rise up. And just do it because I have you and I will not let you falter. I will not let you fail. You're going to mess it up. You're going to feel stupid. You're going to feel maybe embarrassed or nervous or anxious to whatever you have to do, insecure, inferior. But God says, is my hand too short to deliver you? He says, is there anything too hard or too wonderful for the Lord your God? When you mess it up, keep going. When you embarrass yourself, do it again, guys. There's nothing that he says in my plan that I will not do for you. The Holy Spirit shows us things to come. Just like when Jesus told the apostles, I'm telling you now so that when it happens, you'll remember and be like, oh, this is it. The Lord says, there are those of you that I have shown my plans. I have shown my will and my purpose but you didn't know it was me. The Lord says it was me. The Lord says it brings a peace. It brings a power. It rejuvenates you. It gives you hope and it anchors your soul. The Lord says that is me. That is my power consuming you. It's consuming everything you touch. Whatever you put your hands to shall prosper. I order the steps of the righteous. I order your steps. I have brought you to this place and this season at this time to shine forth with power, to do what you've been called to do. So step up, Esther. Step up, David. Step up, Joseph. Step up, Gideon. And you will see the glory of the Lord in your land. And you will live life and life in abundance. And people are going to look and say, wow, how did she get there? That was only by the Lord. How is he doing that? That is only by the Lord. And they're going to revere him. They're going to worship him. And they're going to praise him in the earth. Amen. Because every tongue will confess and every knee will bow that Jesus Christ is Lord and he's establishing his kingdom, guys. The kingdom suffered violence from John the Baptist till now. The kingdom suffered violent assaults, guys, but the violent take it by force. We are adamant. We are persevering. We are coming through. We are going with Holy Spirit aggression. We are ramming that wall. We are knocking down the walls of Jericho. So God says, go, 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 run. The time has come. You are released. You are given permission to operate in the very thing that I have called you to do. So step to it. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the people. This is going to put a pep back in their step. This is going to give them their bounce back. Thank you, Father. All right, you guys. I love you. Take care. See you next time.